This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, December the 30th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Wow, we're just about to close out 2012. And as we are, it looks like high pressure is settling in over the southeastern U.S., which is going to give us at least some sunshine, even though the temperatures are going to stay pretty chilly for us with an afternoon high expected to be primarily in the mid-40s. In the upper atmosphere, of course, with high pressure, we're dealing with a fairly strong ridge. That ridge developing ahead of a rather uh, deep trough over the western U.S. that is uh, going to be coming our way and producing some weather that will give us a wet start to 2013. And we are starting the day off in a chilly manner. Temperatures across central Alabama generally in the 20s, just a tad bit warmer in the east central part of the area. But with these values, that means some locations probably got down to uh, between 20 and 22 degrees. Don't see this too often, but the radar is completely clear. Of course, we've had rain every couple of days for the last few days, a uh, few weeks, so uh, that's kind of nice to see. But as the QPF forecast is suggesting, we're headed for a bit of a wet spell, especially on January the 1st. So we're going to start 2013 on a wet note. Uh, QPF or the uh, HPC guys re uh, uh, forecasting on the order of about one to two inches across central Alabama with as much as three and a half inches possible along the Louisiana Gulf Coast. Storm Prediction Center is not out looking anything for today and for day two they do have a CTEX for just a little bit of the uh, Texas coastal area, the Gulf Coast, the northwest Gulf area. Otherwise uh, not expecting much in the way of thunderstorms. The 06 GFS model run there's the uh, 18Z today uh, forecast for the upper air pattern and certainly a ridge firmly in place across the area with high pressure settling in over the Ohio and Tennessee River Valleys. And that should give us just a nice day with pretty full sun, maybe a few cirrus clouds passing by. <clears throat> by Monday, we're beginning to see that trough to our west come across the Four Corners area, and that will be ejecting out across the southeastern U.S. in a southwesterly flow pattern. So the good news is it's not going to be terribly cold. But as you see on the first, the frontal position becomes uh, parallel to the flow. So uh, the question is going to be the how far south the front can go. Looks like we are going to have a bit of a wet day on the first and the GFS in good agreement with the European in terms of bringing rain to the area on the first. The big question is going to be with the frontal boundary becoming parallel to the flow uh, is just how far to the south it's going to sag. Uh, the GFS and the European both suggesting that Wednesday will be a dry day, perhaps cloudy, but at least a dry day. And uh, so we're, we're going with that for the time being, but keeping a cautious eye on the fact that uh, if the frontal position stays a little further north, we could be into the into showers or whatever. The trough begins to come out completely ejecting eastward on the 3rd, and that should bring us uh, some uh, surface low in the Gulf, and that should uh, provide a bit of an overrunning situation. So once again, the possibility for some rain. And again, the uh, European and GFS in pretty good agreement. Um, you know, we're right on that boundary, so it uh, could be some, some, at least some light rain. The trough comes through on Friday the 4th, so that means we should be drying out, uh, the clouds heading out and the rain heading out. Uh, Saturday the uh, 5th, we see a bit of a short wave coming through, but it looks like that will come through dry, perhaps with some clouds, but uh, with little moisture to act on, we shouldn't get a whole lot. And then finally on the 6th, the week from today, we see that uh, much of the action is both west of us and north of us with a nice trough coming through the Great Lakes, another one right behind that, and then a another trough over the southwest United States. But that basically still keeps us in a dry pattern with a surface high pressure centered over the lower Mississippi River Valley. Now, extending out into voodoo country, and just as we have said, things have flipped and flopped. There is a look at the 8th and uh, that uh, Southwest low is coming across northern Mexico, so that looks like that could be a bit of a wet pattern for us. We see another strong short wave around the 12th, 
And then when we get out to the 14th, we're back under that southwesterly flow. If you recall, yesterday the long range out around the 13th, 14th was showing a very deep uh, long wave trough over the central and eastern U.S. And that look is completely shot, gone. But then what do you expect from voodoo country? Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video. Thanks for uh, sticking around while James has been on vacation. He returns tomorrow, but I think he'll probably stay on a uh, one-a-day schedule uh, until the 2nd of January. In the meantime, I hope your day is a good one and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham. <laughs>